So, how effective will President Obama's foreclosure plan be in kickstarting the housing market? One of the questions that we'll be talking to the CEO of a company which needs people to start buying again. That's in the C-Suite sit-down, and it's coming up in just a moment. But first, the futures this morning were higher earlier. Let's move on to the C-Suite sit-down this morning. We're going to focus on the president's foreclosure plan and the overall impact it has on the ongoing housing crisis. I'm joined this morning by the CEO of House Master. Kathleen Kuhn is with us. So inspections, right? House Master, that's the business that you're in, housing inspections. So that's an obviously interesting business to be in, I'm sure. People would think you're way down because of the housing crisis, and I'm sure you are in many respects of your business. But how are things going right now? Uh, well, they're going okay. Uh, the good news is that people are buying foreclosures. So in some of the hardest hit markets like California and Arizona, Nevada, uh, about 60% of our business right now is foreclosures, but those markets are up. Right. So that, so your business overall, just on normal kind of buying and selling would be down, but the foreclosure is, foreclosures are helping to offset that, which is interesting because now we have a plan in place to try to limit the foreclosures. Um, is that the right thing to do or do we need foreclosures as kind of a part of the process? It's, it's an interesting balance to try to strike. It is an interesting balance and I think the foreclosure plan will help some but it's not going to help everybody so that's where the market factors will help smooth things out long term. Do you think we still have to do so we, we're allowing the market to work enough in your view? What do you think of the foreclosure plan overall? I think it's limiting. Uh, I think it has some strong points but it's it's it really has to take in consideration if you have enough equity in your house and you're loan is with the right financial institution and you can afford somewhat of a mortgage, then it'll be helpful. But some people are still going to have to walk away from their property. All right. And talk about your business when you go and say to a foreclosed home, for example, and you're doing these inspections. Um, you know, how does that differ from kind of a normal inspection process that you've been, that you would have done in normal times? It's a little bit more challenging. The house master offices in these areas that are focusing on, on foreclosures, or that's a big part of their business, do find that uh, buyers are a little bit more accepting of some conditions that we find. They are. Uh, they certainly expect things to be problematic. It, it's probably the biggest problem or the biggest thing they're looking for is major structural problems. They don't want to find anything major. You know, it's interesting because I was just thinking to myself, and in other times when you see a house going to foreclosure, um, I would think, maybe I'm wrong about this, that the house would normally, not normally, but be more likely to be in very, very poor condition for whatever reason. But now you have people that I would think would be upholding their house quite well and are just hit by the economic downturn, lost their job or whatever the case may be. So are the foreclosures themselves even a little bit different when you go into some of it these It is houses? a little bit different and it depends from the market. I mean, if the house has been vacant for a long time, that's where the problems arise. So right. there's definitely some conditions unique to that, plumbing problems, insect damage, things like that, more likely to happen if the house has been vacant for a long time. Okay, you see any changes in some of these markets that you're working in? You mentioned California and some of these really hard hit areas, I know Arizona, Phoenix, and some of these really hard hit areas. Nevada comes to mind. Any changes over the last few months that are that are noteworthy? Well, home sales are going through the roof. I mean, home sales in Nevada in the last quarter doubled over last year. So the good news is we're seeing the bottom. The market is working. The, we're seeing we've the seen working. the bottom right now, or we've already seen it. Things have bottomed out, in your view, is the point. We, we think they're bottoming out, and I think in, in markets that are not that bad, we're seeing sellers get their homes inspected to do more to promote their homes for sale. So we could be talking about a turnaround in the housing market when? I think we're looking at, uh, we'd like to see the late spring, but I think you're looking at... A little optimistic, right? <laughs> well, again, we're just looking at the numbers. All I know is that in 2007, it wasn't as bright as 2000, the end of 2008, in terms of foreclosure selling. Interesting. Kathleen Kuhn, nice to meet you, and thanks for coming in and talking about Home Master. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, housing inspections. That is an interesting business to be in. The president, meantime, expects...